A derivative is a contract between two parties whose values is based on an underlying asset. The most common underlying assets for derivatives are stocks, commodities, bonds, interest rates, currencies, and indices based on set of asset. Derivatives can be used by market participants like hedgers, speculators, and arbitrators. Most widely used exchange traded derivatives products are futures and options. In this video, we shall cover futures. Future contract in commodities being exchange traded is an agreement between two or more parties to buy or sell an underlying commodity. For example, Chana at the price discovered on the date of trade on exchange trading platform for actual delivery at a future date. Forwards are like futures, with the only difference being that they are not traded on exchanges but are traded over the counter in markets like APMC market yards. So, as there is no central exchange to keep track of what goes where and the terms aren't regularized, one can change the lot size and the settlement process. A forward contract is a bilateral agreement which can only be settled on expiry when seller delivers the underlying asset and buyer pays agreed price. Unlike futures, where clearing house like NCCL becomes the counterparty, forwards involves counterparty risk, which means that it is possible that either the buyer or the seller may not fulfill their obligations when there is an adverse price movement. Let's understand this with an example of two hedges, a farmer and a miller. The farmer of chana crop will be ready in about three months time. The miller also needs chana in three months time to produce chana dal or basin. Scenario 1. The farmer and the miller meet each other. The miller agrees to buy 10 metric tons of chana from the farmer and the farmer agrees to sell 10 metric tons of chana to the miller at a mutually agreed price, quality, time and location of delivery. This is a forward contract between the farmer and the miller, tailor-made to suit their requirements. If price goes down, the miller may be tempted to not buy from the farmer and if prices go up, the farmer may change his mind as he may get a better price by selling elsewhere. Such instances may lead to default from either party. Scenario 2 The farmer and the miller individually register as clients of trading members of an exchange. The miller buys 3 months Chana futures contract and the farmer sells 3 months Chana futures contract at a price transparently discovered at the exchange trading platform. As both the farmer and the miller pay clearing house stipulated margins, there is virtually no default risk. As clearing house becomes counterparty to all trades executed on the exchange platform, future contracts are standard contracts on quality specs, trading and delivery lots, expiry dates and location. The farmer and miller both have rights as well as obligations. Either of them can square up without waiting for contracts expiry and book profit or loss depending upon movement of prices. Absence of default risk provides mental peace to participants so that they can concentrate on their core business. There are usually three types of future contracts. Compulsory delivery. When on expiry, sellers must deliver the underlying asset and buyers have to accept delivery and pay. Sellers write. Sellers decide the quantum of delivery. Remaining outstanding contracts are cash settled. Intention matching. Both buyers and sellers individually decide the quantum of delivery. Remaining quantum where delivery intentions are not received are cash settled. Future contracts are used by hedgers who wish to protect themselves against price variations. Speculators who are willing to take risks and trade with an intention of earning profit from price movements. And arbitrators who profit from the difference in the prices of the same commodity in two different markets or two different exchanges or within the same contract with different maturities. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, email us on ask us at nctex.com or call us at 1-800-266-2339.